What makes you better than any other cashew? You need to get off your high horse. Good morning. Welcome to Neural Nick in real life. Nar. I should clip some pictures of my real actual life. You know how sometimes you sleep in your makeup and then you wake up and you're like, I should wash my face. And then you're like, nah. I'll just make a video for the internet to see of my face forever. Me too. Anyway, I'm trying to get back into consistently making weekly vlogs again. So here we are. Uh, and I wanted to recap this Vegas trip that I went on with JK News because it was so fun. You know what? No spoilers. Let's just see how it was. We are going somewhere fun today and I'm not telling. I gotta say, Travel Nikki has to be the sexiest Nikki. She don't give a fuck. Bam. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Tired. Hi, we're here in Las Vegas. We, um, I took a shower, so sorry I'm not as sexy as I was earlier. But we're here with all of the JK news crew, which is really cool. A lot of them already ate, um, but we didn't eat yet. So we're gonna go get some food, and then we're gonna meet up with them, and then we're gonna like probably gamble, right? 100%. 100%. We like the craps. They had this crazy suite, which I don't know, maybe it's not that crazy if you're like a big baller in Vegas and you go there all the time, but it was pretty crazy for a plebe like me. Plebe or pleb? Plebe? A pleb like me. Oh. Damn, damn, look at this suite. Look at this suite. This is amazing. <laughs> Damn, like damn, like damn. You're like damn. You got a wet bar. JK balling over here in the suite. Gina, what are you doing? I'm admiring art. What are you doing? Please, leave, leave the guy alone. Take a day off. Okay, so we tried to get a taxi. Okay, so Steve and I love craps, and I told everybody that I was gonna teach them how to play craps, but I wanted to find some cheap tables so we could learn how to play craps without everyone being worried that they're gonna lose their rent on a $25 minimum table. So we found the cheap as craps that we possibly could at the Circus Circus, which was like mm, maybe one to two miles away. So we tried to rent a taxi van for all of us to fit it, but then this happened. <laughs> so we tried to get a taxi van to go to Circus Circus, and we ended up on a party bus. I got to my true Famous, so famous, number one, it's not, it's not going. I kind of just want to stay on the party bus. So all of us were on this party bus, sober, married, not expecting to be in a club, but we were just like, fuck it, I guess this is life now. And we just went with it. Pretty much this whole trip was just us going with it. <laughs> Circus, circus, bus. Like, like of all places to go, circus. And then we had a makeup competition between married couples, married couples on a party wild. bus. Married couples gone wild. Married couples gone wild. That's Check right. That's Keep right. It yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kent, how crazy? How crazy did the married couples get? It's crazy, bro. It's like it was like a like swingers, you know? Yeah, you yeah. Like crazy married couples. They're like, <laughs> but not, but very monogamous. Gina, how'd you feel about the married couple? Ninth wheel here. So. <laughs> Gina, 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 did you want to be on Married Couple No, no, no. I, like, I, I, I'm trying to well, you're gonna have to be a Married Couple first, aren't I? Okay. And now here we are in the Circus Circus. It's a very empty casino. Very low ceilings. It's like you're walking into the butt of a cigarette. But it's tight. We like it. Then we played some craps at Circus Circus. Didn't have much luck the first night, but we found out that it was karaoke night for the next hour, where the DJ was on stage playing a trumpet. <laughs> So we're like, well, we have to do this now. I got on stage and drunkenly did a Forgot About Dre song, but I don't have any footage of that. And then Steve went up and uh, Can was background dancing. <laughs> I'm back to being super sexy again. You're welcome. Um, 
So I'm headed to the gym right now in our hotel. And I'm bummed because I usually bring my gym clothes, but like nobody ever wants to work out with me, so I didn't bring it this time. But of course, Bart and Gio own a gym, so they're working out with David So. And by the way, um, if you haven't checked any of them out, go watch their channels. They're amazing. I'll leave links in the description. But I love how each Vegas trip can be completely different depending on the group that you go with. It's like such a different vibe every time. And I love it. We had so much fun last night accidentally renting a party bus for like 15 minutes. We mostly just partied in the bus loop of our hotel. So, you know, we're doing it right. Who works out on vacation? No one. <laughs> These fools. How many miles did you run so far, David? Not yet, we're just doing kickboxing today. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> you look like you're doing a Michael Jackson thriller sequence. All right, well, I got a workout in. Gains, 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 gains. Do you see the gains? All the gains? It wasn't really there. Um, I more so got running gains. I ran for two miles in these shoes. Actually, 2.25 miles. And then that combined with all the walking around just the hotel. The hotel is huge. It's like a maze. Um, I have 7,000 steps for the day already, and it's only 11 o'clock. We're changing into bathing suits now. We're going to hit the pool, get some pool gains. And then I don't know what we're going to do. Later, we're seeing a Michael Jackson show. So I guess we're just going to chill out until then. I don't really know. What do you do on vacation? Oh, we got rejected from the cool pool. We're not in the right it's like, how we got rejected. So, so I guess we're, we're part of the peasant group. Yeah. Where, uh, I thought our sweet. Bart was like, want to go in the pool that the peasants aren't allowed in? And then yeah. we got rejected. Yeah, we're, we are we're peasants. peasants. Yeah. There's, a, there's a pool cast system. <laughs> we're going to a Michael Jackson show, and look at this guy. <laughs> All dressed up. <laughs> what a fanboy. I had to do it. I love it. No, it's great. Yeah. Look at this hot mama. <laughs> Everybody looks so good. Damn, we clean up. <laughs> Gio says she never slaps girls' asses, but she slapped mine, so we all I, you, I gotta show you what her ass is like. Let me show them. Look at this. Look at this. Keep walking, Nikki. Keep walking. Look at that. Hey, look at that, look at that. As, 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 as. She was begging for a booty slap. She was begging for it. I don't know what you're talking about. What was? I don't know. It's for Steve, by the way. And since Joe had never seen a Michael Jackson show before, he wanted to pretend that the Michael Jackson impersonator was actually Michael Jackson just to make it like more real in his eyes. So he was so excited. We were front row. Dude, we are hella VIP for this show. Look, Look at how close we are. Look at that. It's right there. And the whole night, all of us were just like waiting for Michael to interact with Joe. Oh, it came close so many times. Finally. It was David So's birthday. Happy birthday, dear David. Oh. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Wow. <laughs> Bitch. I did not know you could sing the happy birthday song and make it sound good. By the way, I'm so sorry you're not a bit. We are getting on another party bus. That's right, another party bus. Are you ready for all this party? Hey, this is Michael, he's amazing. Another party bus. Another another party bus. bus. And we took that party bus to a strip club. My first strip club I've ever been to. I saw so many boobs, 
so just so boobs everywhere you couldn't not see boobs like you turn there's boobs this place boobs that was boobs the bathroom has boobs everywhere was boobs i got so desensitized to boobs you know when you say a word too many times and it loses meaning that's what boobs are to me now. I just don't even understand what they are anymore. And as if that wasn't enough, the next day we went to the Cirque du Soleil show Zumanity, which was all about the sex. Hi, it's day three of Vegas, and Steve woke up at like one today. Oh uh, yeah, it was So like though. four hours ago. Yep. And we got lunch. We went to one slot machine where I won $100 immediately. Yep. And then we put it on crap, and now we're up $500. Woo, 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 woo. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now we're on our way, we're all like pretty now because we're, um, well maybe you think we're pretty, maybe you don't think we're pretty. I'm feeling ourselves because we're up $500 and that's pretty pretty. We're on our way to another show. We're gonna meet up with everybody and we're going to the Zoomanity show, which is the sex one I've heard. I've never it's seen it, one. but it's the, everyone's saying it's the sex one. That's what I say. So we're gonna go out to dinner, and possibly gamble more. We don't know. Oh yeah. We're some crazy kids today. Watching the sex shows, humanity. How do you feel after watching all the sex? Dude, morning. Morning wow. as hell. And then it was over. Good morning. You went to bed at 4:30 a.m. We have to check out in like 30 minutes, and nothing's really packed. This guy's still in bed. I'll tell you what's packed. What? You better better pack your lips. My yeah. lips? Yeah, you better pack your. You better pack your what lips. About pack my lips? Yeah, you better pack your lips. I don't. Lips. I don't think I can pack. Stop talking shit. You better oh, pack those oh, up. Oh, it's a, oh, yeah, it's, it's a threat. Oh, it's like a, a word play. Yeah, but it's a threat. Oh, I'm threat. I'm being threatened. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll pack my lips. I feel very threatened. I have to get some coffee because <laughs> that's what I do. Am I right? But first, coffee, right? <laughs> right? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you, guys. Doing a tight five today. It's pretty cool though. So we're at Aria and they let you order from the Starbucks uh, before you go down there so you don't have to wait in line because there's a huge line. Every morning there's like a 20 to 40 minute line down there. Um, but I just ordered from a tablet because it's the future. And then I just walk up there like a boss and just go, hey, my name's Nikki. And they're like, oh, right here. And it's just ready. That was great. Thank you. That wasn't, a, sir. That wasn't a joke. It wasn't. It's was just a setup. I like it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can you say my shout my city out? No, honey. No, there's no hecklers. No, please, please remain quiet until the end of the show. Las Vegas. Thank you. Woo <laughs> And that was one of the best, if not the best, Vegas trip I've ever had in my life. So I don't even know if you can compare Vegas trips. They're like boobs. Each one is so different and unique depending on who you're with. Unless you see too many of them. So many boobs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll be putting out vlogs more regularly, so don't worry about it. Don't you- are you worried? Because stop. Ooh.